Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Natalie and I create all kinds of home lifestyle type videos here on my channel. This is my dog Riggins, wait, there he is behind the lamp over there. Um, and he makes noise in all my videos, so welcome. <laughs> Today we're going to be doing a little bit of antique shopping. My friend Elizabeth is in town from around the Greenville area. She lives in a beautiful fixer upper home built in the, I can't remember when it was built, I will ask her. Um, and she comes back in town sometimes and we go antiquing. And also we do the same thing when I visit her. So we are on the hunt for some things on her list. I'm not sure what she's looking for. I need absolutely nothing, but I always love a good hunt, a little treasure hunt, treasure finding. So I will kind of take y'all along with us, let you know what she's looking for. And we will just go through the antique store and see what kind of goodies they have. My antique store honestly near me is really good. They often have good finds and they're pretty affordable. So I'm really excited to show y'all what we have today and hopefully we find some good stuff. If we do, we'll do a little haul at the end. So that's probably enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and get on into the shopping. What a day, y'all. We found some amazing things at the antique store. I saw that little frame with the chalkboard insert. You could definitely take the picture that's on there, the little drawing off and start over, um, which I thought would be really pretty. I laughed at that little bacon sign, but our store had so many good things. They had some really great wood pieces, um, some great vessels. I love this little scoop I thought was really cool. I think it was like $10 on sale. Um, they had a cool grapevine wreath, all kinds of cool things. Um, Elizabeth was specifically looking for books and glass pieces. I can't remember what else she was looking for, but um, she really lucked out. She did a lot better than I did. <laughs> but we did find some great things. And even just looking through the antique store is so peaceful to me. I don't know what it is, if it's the like old school music or what, but I personally just love walking around and seeing what all they have to offer. One thing I really love is like aged metal, like, you know, gold or, you know, silver, copper, brass pieces that look vintage, but I don't know what's a good way to tell, like if it's actually aged or um, if it is a real vintage or antique piece. Let me know some of your tips in the comments below. I really just look for pretty things. I feel like I can usually tell if it looks old or not, um, but I'm not good at telling, you know, which decade it's from and things like that. So if you have any good tips, please let me know. Thank you. 
All right, so we are going to do the haul portion of this video. This is Elizabeth, if y'all don't know her. I have linked her channel before. Go check it out. She has a really cool fixer upper from the, what year? I mentioned this in my like intro. Like 50s. Like the 50s. It's really, really cool. When she first bought it and showed the tour, I was nervous for her, but they made it really beautiful. So check out her channel. I'll link it below. Um, and she did way more shopping than I did. So, which I said in the intro, I was like, I'm pretty sure she's going to have more <laughs> stuff than me. Um, so I got a few things and maybe we'll go like back and forth, okay. like Christmas present opening, Love that. Love <laughs> back that. and forth, um, and sharing what we found. So we found some really good things. Do you want to go first since you have more? Yeah, sure. Pick your favorite piece or, or just a piece. Okay. So this was probably my big piece that I, I got love that. and I've been wanting something like this because I feel like it's just so timeless yeah. and I love blue and white. I'm very Southern. I want to put some hydrangeas in this. Yeah. It was $25. Comment down below what style you would call this because we were debating. I think it's like kind of Southern, but I don't know yeah. all of the different decor styles. So if you have any thoughts or ideas or actual interior design knowledge let us know yeah but i because i'm going for like a southern farmhouse right vibe so really good find there i'm gonna do one of my smaller finds first yeah save your best for last i will definitely do that unless you can see it so i found this little picture and it's in like a wood kind of frame that almost looks like gold um but it's like a little barn scene i don't know i think it's cute it looks like kind of like a little countryside um but this was four dollars for the frame the mat and the photo which i thought was pretty good because i mean you can find frames like this at goodwill for a dollar or two but you don't get this beautiful little art print so i'm thinking about putting this either in my guest room or elizabeth gave me the idea for possibly putting it in my half bath because i am planning to redo that that should be a video coming soon ish um but i think it would go with kind of the theme that i want to do in there and the mm -hmm. colors so it'd be really cute four dollars can't beat it. Cannot beat it. Okay. And I want to get into like copper things like that. So I found this I love copper tea box that was only twelve dollars. I think it's so cute. Probably hanging on like a floating shelf, mm -hmm. or I have like little peg rails on there would be really cute. That would be really cute. You could also put like flowers in it. What do you think about that? I think twelve dollars for that's a good deal, but yeah. I don't know. It's normally a little more expensive though, really? when I see it. I never look for copper, but I think I it's it really pretty so fun. fun. And because my house is so old, I try to bring in like old, old tiny, stuff. charming things. Yes. I'm jealous of her because my house is so builder grade that it feels very like sterile and boring sometimes. But I mean, I'm grateful for sometimes my house. Sometimes that's really nice. I wish sometimes, I yeah. That. Sometimes we'll take it, but um, I try to add. I think some old things they don't like makes sense in the this oh. house so there's good and bad things about both yeah you always want what you don't have i mm -hmm. guess but um yeah so okay what's your that was your second thing yes okay so then i got this special appearance by riggins i got this little framed like him i guess is what it is um the frame definitely is not like antique or anything and this page may or may not be but i thought it was really pretty um i like the like black wood on it i don't know exactly where this is gonna go but i thought it was pretty and it's a little bit different of like shelf and wall decor so i thought it would be something different than like just a typical picture or landscape or photo or you know like different kind of art piece it could go on a shelf or you know be on like a little side table or even like my dresser or my master that actually might be a really good idea for it um because i have some black accents in there but i just thought it would be something different and it was i think five dollars so really like that piece so i got two of these books and i like that they're just lighter neutral colors and with gold writing and then blue which kind of goes with like my house so and they were only two dollars a piece which i thought was a really good deal so probably gonna stack these on my mantle i've got some candlesticks there that would be really cute did you get those in our last haul no you got them after no i got them you you found them yeah the black ones mm -hmm. but we didn't buy them then yeah, we did. Oh, we couldn't because they weren't on sale. Or I bought ones. some. Oh, okay. Yeah. I got some in the last haul. <laughs> uh, okay, good. So, so these were really good. Good find. Okay, you want to do another one since I only have yes. one more thing? She had much better luck than I did, but to be fair, I don't need anything new. Yeah, I'm like just really starting the decorating process. Jeez. It's So I got these two little cast irons. I think uh, one was four and one was six. And so I want cute. to hang them in my like dining room 
because I have white walls and I just think it's like really cute, like Contrast, contrasted. Yeah. And then I have some pretty plates I want to hang with it as well. We will put a, I'll, you have a full house tour, right? Yes. I'll link her full house tour so you can see her kitchen because this will all make a lot more yes. sense when you know what we're working with. Um, but we both have white kitchens. Yeah. So you got to warm it up somehow. Yeah, I think this will be really fun. Those are so cute. I'm really excited about them. So my big find, really exciting find, was this like, it's kind of a crock, but I think it's called like a butter turner thing. Um, but it just looks like a big like ironstone crock with this like blue detail on it, um, which honestly I could flip it around if I didn't want that, but I do kind of like it. Mm -hmm. I love how aged this looks. Like it's super, super heavy. It looks really aged. You can see how big it is compared to my head. It's huge. And it came with this little lid, but that's how I guess it looks different than like a normal crock because it's got the little like butter churner lid thing, if you can see it. Um, but I might probably not use the lid on it and I might put it, I don't know, we thought about maybe like in front of my fireplace or maybe by my, like in my dining room somewhere. I don't know, I could use it for like umbrellas. I could use it for a plant. I'm not exactly sure yet, but the big reason that I saw this and snatched it up really quickly is because this was only $20 which is a really good deal because usually these are like a hundred at least mm -hmm. or like 80 at All least. We saw a few other ones, ones that were this size were either 110 yeah. or like 200. Yeah. So I don't know if it's because it's like a butter thing. So it's like different. I don't really know, but it looks like a crock. So definitely we'll get some use out of this. I don't know exactly where, um, but it didn't take long for me to decide on that one. I was like, yep, I'm taking it. So super cute. That is that. So I got this little white pitcher. It was only four dollars. It is cracked and it has some like I aged like cracks that, through it. Yeah, I yeah. think it looks like a design or something. Yeah. But with just some like dried florals on floating shelves, I think it would be really cute. It looks like the one I have up there on my kitchen chest. Yeah, a little one. I think Target has one like this, really? but it looks just like so cute. How much is that? Four dollars. Four dollars. Which was really good. Deal. We have the best antique store near us. Yeah, so. that's really good. My last two things, yeah, I got these wooden spoons. So these, the set was $4. And I love how aged they look. Yeah. Like they look really old. Yeah. And I feel like it's kind of hard to find ones that actually look really I old. I actually like that it's kind of deep. Like yeah. My wooden spoon is basically like flat. So I think they're, and the, they're different sizes. Yeah, I've got like the so white cute. jar to put them in, which would be really cute. Very cute. And then the last thing I got is this jug. So it's kind of like, um the crock kind of texture and i got a picture in our when we last went shopping that looks kind of similar to i this. think i shared that so y'all would have seen that in my last antique haul mm -hmm. i showed like elizabeth's finds that she found as well so i think this would be really cute to like contrast it and i yes. love blue and white so I love I'm, this will probably go on my floating shelves too because you could either put something in it or or leave it alone yeah so and how much was that this one was ten dollars okay. So it's still a good deal for this. Yes. So we were very successful. We spent a lot of time. Um, you saw the footage from us walking around, mm -hmm. but honestly, it's just a fun thing to do. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe to Elizabeth's channel. I will leave it linked down below and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Riggins. Be good. <laughs> Um, sit. 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 He's like, I sat. I sat. Riggins, go. Sit over there. Good boy. Sit. Sit. Stay. Stay. Sit. Sit. Where's Lamb Chop? Where's Lamb Chop? Where's Lamb Chop? Okay, go ahead. Talk. Give this. <laughs> bloopers. I should put bloopers at the end. Yeah. <laughs>